live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Well, welcome back inside Dell AMC World 2017 here on theCUBE. We continue our coverage uh, day three here in Las Vegas when the Sands Expo sandwiched in between the Palazzo and the Venetian. Great show, a great vibe, and it's been a good show for VirtueStream. And we have with us the uh, president, CTO, and a co-founder from VirtueStream joining us now, Kevin Reed. Kevin, good to see you. How have you been? been great, uh, it's just very energizing being here this week. Yeah, what about the week for you? Uh, I, I'm sure you have a couple of announcements we'll get to in just a moment. Sure. I just want to get your take on the show here as we wind down. You know, the, the show's just been incredible. You know, of course, it's the first year that they're all coming together, if you will, as, as the, the brand of uh, Daily MC as, as one uh, show for, for the uh, stage. It's been a great stage for us. Great audience, looking at the, the range of countries and clients represented, um, we, we've actually just been blown away at the energy behind what Dell Technologies now represents as the overall set of brands in the portfolio. So let's let's get to the uh, to the news that you made this week. Sure. Uh, one in the healthcare space, I know very important space for you, That's right. and then uh, on the connector space as well with vCloud. So I mean, let's go ahead and take them one at a time if you Absolutely, would. so healthcare cloud, you know, for us just a fantastic area. You know, we, when you look at just all the, uh, the regulatory uh, issues associated with um, healthcare in general, and certainly we, we don't have enough time on this show to go into what all that means, but the ramifications no, are No, we'd like to get into HIPAA compliance if you don't mind. We, we have well, actually, we talked about it yesterday, so. <laughs> if you kidding. want to talk about it again. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. No, we don't have But it's, right. it's just been fantastic, right. you know, because with all that change, becomes uh, all the investments that the healthcare companies are having to make, whether it's in EHR, EMR, and, and as you look at changing out those systems of record that really run the critical patient care, for those uh, healthcare providers, it really presents a great opportunity. So what we've done is said, let's leverage our core competencies of mission critical, mm -hmm. and let's gear that towards the uh, healthcare space, and let's leverage our compliance in HIPAA and other things like that, and be able to bring to the market a capability that's multi-tenanted, that's utility-oriented, but has that mission critical SLA that we're accustomed to providing our clients over the years. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about that. We think it's a great market, great industry overall, and uh, we've seen fantastic feedback even in this show from clients who are uh, very excited to now engage in what that could mean for them. You bet. So Kevin, the connector announcement. VMware, we're at e Dell EMC World. VMware, huge part of the Dell Technologies uh, portfolio. What's the news around Connector? So with the Connector, what it really allows us to do is take what is been our, uh, our cornerstone differentiation over the years, which is really around the mission critical, high service levels, when you think about guaranteed service levels, you know, almost think of us as more of a, a managed infrastructure as a service that has those high SLAs associated with it. So having uh, clients be able to take the VMware estate and then be able to provision and manage workloads that are then being provisioned into the VertStream high SLA mission critical environment is a big step for those enterprise customers. It's a big step for Dell Technologies as a, as a, a brand. And it uh, doesn't necessarily change the fact that you can also do that to other public cloud providers. You just get a higher level of service by doing it with uh, VirtuStream. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that value prop of VirtuStream. Doing the acquisition, it, it kind of made sense to me. EMC, traditional enterprise, high available, high availability company, you know, you had the VMAX, five, six, uh, uh, nines array, VirtuStream, right. you guys did a wonderful job with t taking that complex application to SAP, providing some provisioning tools around that and making that a consumable uh, resource in the cloud. Talk to me a little about, bit about the conversations you've had on the show, in the show floor with traditional Dell EMC customers. Are they starting to really warm up to this, this expansion of the virtual stream brand beyond SAP into other mission critical apps? Absolutely, and that really represents the huge growth opportunity for us. As VirtStream, we were very successful, as you mentioned, going into the SAP application space because typically SAP will be the system of record for a lot of these large enterprises. And what happens is with your system of record, things like data persistence and uh, performance guarantees, high IO, large footprint uh, workloads, 
they're, they're absolutely germane to those systems of record, but SAP is not the only application that fits into that category. When you look at all the different verticals and you look at the areas uh, like we mentioned with healthcare and some of the key applications like uh, Epic and Meditech and Cerner, and then you look at the other verticals, there are always these uh, very key systems of record that require that sort of heavyweight capability around mission critical. Mm -hmm. And so leveraging all of our learnings in the application space, that we can bring that level of mission critical infrastructure performance with that application centric automation that is focused on that kind of capability, it just makes sense. So it opens up the aperture in terms of the number of apps that we can now run on the VertStream platform. Technically we could do it before, but now with the reach of Dell EMC, it not only allows us the account penetration by getting in there with the relationships that are already leverageable with Dell EMC, but it allows us to also reach the partner community on the software side and be able to talk to application vendors that we can actually bring onto the platform as well. So we're very excited about that. So this isn't really anything new for you guys in essence. SAP is what I like to call one of those core center of gravity, gravity applications. It's heavy. Right. You're going to have a lot of applications around SAP, Absolutely. and those applications are going to be just as critical. Transaction yes. ap applications, payment processing, That's right. uh, uh, data, big data apps. Okay. And you guys have hosted those applications before. What are some of the lessons learned from hosting the SAP ecosystem of applications that you're being able to uh, now transfer that to other enterprise applications? Well, there are a couple of very key lessons that we've learned. So first of all, you're, you're absolutely right in the sense that when you have that mission critical nucleus, all the things that sit in the ecosystem come along with it. And for us, we've always, for years, been, been able to run anything that runs on the x86 platform. So we're certainly not limited to any specific application set. But what we've learned actually over the years in dealing with that concept of the ecosystem, the peripheral systems, is integration. And not only integration in the sense of technically allowing those systems to talk to each other, but what we find is when a client is looking to set up a new training environment or a new testing or QA environment, or they're even leveraging the concept of uh, utility and consumption, if you don't need that system active at night, then you should shut it down. And uh, if you don't need it on the weekend, you should shut it down, but yet, in a lot of these complicated systems, the way in which the integration comes up and which systems talk first and then second and then third are very critical. So over the years we've picked up on things like that level of application automation, what we call landscape management. So you're not just managing a VM, you're managing an entire landscape, which you have to blueprint and then say for that blueprint, if you're going to shut it down, what's the way of doing that that's fastest but also runs the least risk of data corruption or other issues that can occur if you just, for some reason, fall out of sequence. So that's one of the very critical lessons that we've learned. The other piece of it is really around tweaking the environments where we've found that by analyzing the actual resource consumption of these apps, which we measure on five minute increments, it allows us to have a much better uh, introspection, if you will, of that entire landscape. And so it allows us to predict whether it's at night or certain times of the month, you know, during financial close as an example, or for some of our uh, very labor intensive uh, environments that have warehouses or manufacturing, uh, time and attendance systems, you know, that kick in at certain shift change hours. And being able to predict when they need the resources and allocate those resources accordingly. So uh, these are some of the very critical lessons that we plan to take from our years of running and, and perfecting the art of running SAP and taking them to some of these other mission critical applications as well. Well Kevin, um, again, great to, uh, great news that you've uh, launched this week in a couple of respects. Uh, glad to hear the show's going well and just want to congratulate you personally. I mean, I always like having co-founder uh, on the show. It's just, uh, you, you built something from scratch and obviously it's worked extremely well, so congratulations on that oh, front. thank you very and, much. And uh, I admire that, so uh, good for you. Thank you. Good to have Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Kevin Reed from Virtue thank Stream you. with us here on theCUBE. Back with more from Dell EMC World 2017 in just a bit. You are watching theCUBE here on SiliconANGLE TV.